Hey guys, in this video I want to show you pretty quick on how you can go ahead and install Clockwork Mod or as they are saying here, CWM um, a, you know, a program that you use uh, when you recover your phone uh, you know, stock on Android or on my Samsung Galaxy S2 or on another or, 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 or and also on a lot of you know Android smartphones they have this recovery mode but it's it's not as good you can't do as much as with this clockwork mod and you know some firmwares out there uh, like this Cyanogen mod uh, 7 uh, is uh, going to need this clockwork mod because you can do more advanced things with clockwork mod and in this video I just want to quickly show you on how you can install version version 4.0.0.2 of clockwork mod for your Samsung Galaxy S2 we're going to use Odin so if you watch my obviously you need to have your device you know rooted first and I already made videos on how you go ahead and do that um, and yeah, that's in three parts um, okay so first of all I just want to show you how the normal recovery mode looks like so uh, I have my device uh, turned on a uh, so first of all, if your device is turned on, you just want to quickly power it off. Okay, quickly power it off. Okay, so the way you access the recovery mode is uh, on Samsung Galaxy S2 is basically you hold down this button down here are the lock button, the home button, uh, and also the home button, a lock button, and then the volume up button. So I'm going to hold them in at the same time. Okay, continue. That triangle, that's a good sign. Means we have like a rooted device, I think, or running a custom firmware. Okay. So this is basically the one that you are going to have uh, when you come uh, stock. That's how this one looks like. Uh, you get reboot system now, apply update from SD card, wipe data factory reset, wipe data petition. But you don't get anything more. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and install clockwork mod. Uh, very simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reboot the system right now. And then I'm gonna hold down the home button, the lock button, and the you know key, the volume volume down button as well. So we access the other mode that is being called the download mode. Um, okay, so when we are inside of the download mode, basically what we are going to do here is that we are gonna fire up Odin on our computer, and then uh, basically what, what we just want to do here. Uh, is used as in earlier versions uh, when I've been showing you guys how to do this uh, you wanna have auto reboot uh, ticked on and like every reset time no repartition or flash lock or phone EFS clear uh, go and click on the PDA button and now we're gonna pick this one this file that you need to download the clockwork mod recovery uh, 4.0.0.2 <coughs> tar file go ahead and pick that one okay uh, now obviously we don't see that ID com thingy this is because I didn't have to connect my USB cable so that's also something that you need to do and if you watch my root videos you should know um, how these things work out wait a sec maybe 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 we may need to uh, boot up our phone first and then restart it. Hmm, console, restart phone. Okay, volume down. Uh, because we should see that this the thing here that it uh, sees the phone. And I, sh I should have probably had the USB cable in uh, the first time I was doing this. And that was kind of like a new mistake of me. Yeah, I failed there, I think. But I'm just gonna wait here uh, until it boots up and then I'm gonna power it off again. Okay, we should see that con thingy also in download mode, I think. So power the device off. Uh, 
Let's see if that yellow thing disappears. It should disappear. I think. Okay, there we see it. Uh, we can see the remove text. Uh, but what happens if I hold in and go to download mode again? Uh, volume up key. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, you need to have the cable in uh, when you have the phone turned on and then basically reboot it into download mode. Okay, so we can see that com thingy. Uh, we have selected our basically our PDA file um, that is this clockwork uh, mod recovery. Uh, we don't have anything more ticked in. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on start. And it's going to do a lot of things. And it said pass over there, and you can see removed. Now I'm quickly gonna go into recovery mode. Hopefully I'm not too late on this one. Oh yes, I was too late. But we can actually disconnect the cable right now. And also in the guide here, they're saying that we uh, you can easily root the device using after reboot. You can easily root the device using Super One Click, but we have already done that, so we don't need to do that again. At least if you have uh, watched my kind of root video. So now I'm basically just going to go ahead and go to this new kind of uh, recovery mode. I'm going to disconnect the cable, and then I'm just going to go ahead and power it off. Yes. Hold up the volume up key. Oops. Should I hold it a little more? Okay, there we go. So as we can see here, this is basically the clockwork mod. You get some more stuff you can do, or actually a lot of things. And also they change the controls, so when you click on the lock screen button, um, you basically apply stuff and things like that. Um, and uh, we have apply updates from SD card, wipe data, uh, wipe cache and partition, install zip, backup and restore, accounts, storage, advanced, power off. So <clears throat> we got you know a lot more stuff to do and that is kind of sweet. So that's basically how you go ahead and install Clockwork Mod uh, Recovery version 4.0.0.2 on your Samsung Galaxy S2. So that's kind of awesome. Now we're ready to go to install some custom firmware. Yes. So yeah, I'm just going to reboot right now. Reboot system now. Awesome. See you guys.